water signs. It's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a little weekend reading for you. Okay, so I'm actually going to break it down into each sign. So the top is going to be for Cancer. Okay. The middle is going to be for Scorpio. And finally, the bottom will be for Pisces. So let's take a look at how your person is thinking and feeling over the weekend, all right? Whoops. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And then I'm going to get a couple of oracle cards for each. And then finally, all right, we'll hold off on these here. Okay, move candle. Okay, all right, so let's see. What is your person thinking or feeling cancer? Let's see. First card, ooh, we have the devil. All right, so I feel like they feel, they feel a little bit, they feel tied to you in some way, okay? You might be dealing with a Capricorn, but they feel very, um, very tied to you. They might feel, um, They, they almost might be trying to not think about you. And the more they try to not think about you, the more they think about you. Um, this person lacks a little bit of faith, okay? Um, they might lack a little bit of faith in the connection. They might lack a little bit of faith in themselves. They might feel like they're kind of on their own. You know, I don't feel like this person accepts help very easily. All right. What else do we have here? Ace of Pentacles. All right. So I feel like they're trying to figure out, they're trying to figure out a way to, to move forward to share their intentions with you without sounding almost obsessed with you. Okay, they might have made a big mistake in the past with you or what they perceive as a big mistake. I don't think it was. Um, they might have said something, they might have done something that you know felt um, embarrassing to them. But yeah, I feel like they're trying to figure out a way to move forward without like without losing face. You know what I mean? Like they might try to talk to you. They might try to reach out. I don't feel like they're going to bring up what happened in the past. I feel like they're a little bit embarrassed about this. Okay? What do we have here? We have, look at, expression. 
that's that's what we're talking about here I feel like they're going to express something to you now whether or not I feel like they almost find a reason to contact you that has nothing to do with the connection nothing to do with the relationship like for instance they might tell you that they heard about a great opportunity to do what they know you love doing I feel like this person genuinely cares about you but I feel like they feel like they really messed up at some point and they're a little bit embarrassed by it what do we have here we've got Knight of Pentacles yeah so this is definitely the energy that I'm feeling right in the physical world this is going to go very slowly and it's going to go very slowly because of something that was said or done in the past that this person really is uncomfortable with they don't like themselves because of it they're embarrassed because of it but they feel very very tied to you it's there are days that they go through that they don't want to think about this they definitely don't want to think about what happened here because again I feel like they feel embarrassed about it Knight of Swords is earth energy so it's about how they move forward in the physical world I feel like they're going to try everything except talking about about what they feel embarrassed about okay so they might reach out to you on social media I definitely feel like they're going to express themselves in some way but it's like they're not going to address you know the elephant in the room and more than anything I feel like this expression is about that is about the need to talk about it you might have to be the one that brings this up whatever it was you might not think it's embarrassing but for some reason it's embarrassing to this person and it could be because you know their ego might have gotten bruised by you in, in how you reacted you might not even be aware that this person you know feels this way okay all right so let's get let's get one message card all right so we're gonna pull this card on expression and we have I remember the scent of your perfume okay so this person absolutely fondly thinks of you if you're a man then this person might remember the scent of your cologne or you know just you know maybe how you know how your your jacket might have smelled when they hugged you the aroma that you projected is something that really draws this person in all right so one more I just want to see for this devil let's clarify the devil all right and we have the Queen of Pentacles so here's the thing whatever this person whatever this person did or said it was coming from a true place so this person might have expressed something that was really close to their heart to you and you might not have given given it the time of day you might not have given it the attention that you that this person thought you were going to give them you might not have addressed something they might have opened the door to talking about something maybe you didn't see it maybe you you know weren't completely paying attention and they feel embarrassed for bringing it up okay but it was it definitely was their truth okay Queen of Pentacles is about authenticity and you know you might you definitely might be dealing with an earth sign here we have a lot of earth energy if you're not dealing with an earth sign then the challenges that the two of you are having are definitely based in how you're moving forward in the physical world all right so let's see how does this person want to move forward we're not doing reversals 
Okay, so we have we have eight of swords. This person, here's the deal. They either want their freedom, so they want to be free of this connection, period, or they want it to move forward. Okay, they want freedom either way. They want freedom to move forward with you, or they want freedom from the connection, but they don't like the status of it right now. They don't like the feeling of being embarrassed or being feeling shamed possibly for something they said or did. They have fond memories of you. They want to move forward, but they, they're having a hard time addressing something that happened between the two of you. And the thing is, is I feel like you might not even be completely aware of it. All right. All right. So let's, that is for cancer. This is for Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio? Three of swords. All right. So Scorpio, you or your person. Okay. I mean, truthfully, in a general reading, it can be either. All right. You or your person might be experiencing some type of trust issue right now or uh, some type of broken heart. All right, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And then we have the strength card of Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo, all right? But I feel like what this is saying here is that somebody made themselves very vulnerable, very similar energy in a way to cancer, okay? Somebody made themselves very, very vulnerable maybe shared what they had been thinking for some time. This might have been you, this might have been your person, okay? It made them feel very, very vulnerable. And the reaction, so many times when we're ready to express something, somebody else may not be ready to hear it. And I feel like that's the situation here. Or somebody needed to step back and, you know, take a minute and process what was said okay so it doesn't mean that they're rejecting you although you might be feeling rejected or your person might be feeling rejected because you just had to take a minute and think about this and say whoa i wasn't prepared for that i need to think about it i feel like that's the situation what do we have here we have look at transition all right so this might have been a huge deal. This might have been a really big deal for you or for your person or for both of you because it feels like it's all about transitioning from, it might be about leveling up. So if you guys are friends, it might be leveling up to some type of love connection. If you're, If you've been dating, it might be you know, that you're leveling up to some type of exclusive arrangement between the two of you. If you've been in separation or if you've been broken up, it might be about getting back together. It's going from one state to the next. And then we have, look at, we have the tower. Something was said. Something was said here that was unexpected, was a very big deal. And I feel like it, it didn't, it didn't produce the response that was expected. So immediately we think we were rejected, okay? We feel vulnerable, we feel kind of silly and stupid for saying anything to begin with. We feel like we might have made a mistake. I don't feel like that's the case at all. I feel like it's about somebody trying to process, you know, what that next step is, all right? So let's see here. I want to clarify transition and I want to clarify tower because you know this is really in a way kind of the same energy and then let's clarify strength too all right so the transition here clarified by yep this is what it is three of cups friendship this is a friendship that is taking a tur turn okay it's a friendship that Somebody might have expressed feelings, which is a big deal. It's a big deal to express those feelings. 
and you might not have gotten the reaction that you expected or this person may not have gotten the reaction that they expected. All right, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so what this I feel like is saying is that somebody literally might have said, you know, you're you're my everything. I I feel like I feel like you're the one. I feel like you're the one that I could have everything with. Family, marriage, you know, we could work towards retirement. Like, you are the one. This might have felt very big coming from a friend. You know, a friend that maybe you or your person might not have com considered as a relationship or a connection. So somebody is processing something here. Tower clarified by Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, we have Queen of Pentacles up here too. Queen of Pentacles is, again, being very authentic. So whatever this person said, it was the truth. And if you were the one that said it, you know, it was a truthful statement. You might have said it under the influence. Three of Cups. All right. All right, so I want to pull a message card. When your name comes up, I listen. So this might give you some reassurance if you were the one that said something, okay? This person definitely thinks about you. They might be, they might have removed themselves from, from you or from your energy for a period of time. But I feel like they're doing a lot of thinking about you, about what you said. And again, this can go in reverse. You know, um, they might have said something to you and you're doing a lot of thinking. You know, you might be noticing this person's name showing up everywhere. And I feel like if that's happening or if it's happening to them, it's saying there is more here to discuss. There's more here to look at. There's something here that we need to explore. Okay. All right, so that's for Scorpio. And then down here, we have Pisces. Let's see what the story is for Pisces. All right, so we have the universe. That's the world card. Okay. All right, so... This could be about an ending and a new beginning. It could be about um, combining forces, realizing goals of some kind, or some type of integration. Something from taking something from you, taking something from the other person, and starting something new, starting to build something new. And then we have four of swords all right so it feels like something was offered here you know and it it might not have been um it might not have been romantic this might be a partnership of some kind it might be um an offer to work together it might be an offer to travel together it might be an offer to become part of somebody's team there could be a romantic undertone to that. I feel like somebody's really thinking about partnering up with you. You know, and, you know, that certainly could be relationship. They see you as adding to their potential fulfillment in life in some way. It's either at work or it's somehow within relationship between the two of you. What do we have here? All right, so we've got here, this is the card of Sagittarius. You might be dealing with a Sagittarius, okay? This is temperance. It's called art in this particular deck. Um, because we have the universe card here, the world card here that says 
you know, combining forces, it feels like they bring something to the table and you bring something to the table and the two of you together balance each other out. So one of you might be very analytical and the other might be very, um, you know, very emotional and passionate. It feels like the two of you balance each other out. What do we have here? We have change. That's, that's what this is all about. There's change happening between you and a person. And it could be at work. It could be within a relationship. But I feel like it's something that you both see as a very positive, very positive thing. All right, so let's see. Clarify the universe. Let's clarify the Four of Swords. And let's clarify the change card too. So we have, we have the Devil, card of Capricorn. Capricorn is showing up in water sign readings. So what are we changing here? We might be changing... Um, we might be changing partners, okay? First of all, you know, getting away from uh, toxic energy, and this could be getting away from doing something that you don't wanna do anymore, maybe in your career. This person might be a brand new connection and a brand new job opportunity. You might not see them as a brand new connection yet. There might be, this might be somebody that really sees a ton of potential in you, like in literally in every aspect. So if somebody recently came into your life that seems to think that you are the cat's meow, okay? Um, I feel like this person sees beyond, you know, what's just happening in front of them right now with you. They see... They see opportunity with you. And I feel like it's a very positive change. It gets you out of something that maybe that you're tied to and it gets them out of something that they're tied to. It creates a new bond. It could be a soulmate type of connection. Devil, number 15, breaks down to a six. All right. So let's see. What do we have here? Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands, clarifying the universe. So this is somebody that has a lot of conviction after to go after what it is that they want. Okay, a lot of conviction. It's like they're pursuing. They're pursuing this. They're pursuing you. They're pursuing, you know, the new opportunity that they see with you. I love this. Four of Swords and Two of Wands. This person knows what they want and they're spending a lot of time thinking about it. It might not feel like there's a lot happening here yet, but I feel like this person has, has made the decision. I feel like you are the decision. You are the decision and it's going to change both of your lives. All right. <clears throat> All right, so Pisces, let's get a message card for you. Whoops. It says, the untold story haunts me. So what that could be saying is that the two of you, you might have crossed you might have crossed paths in the past in some way. Like you almost might have gone on a date in the past. You almost might have, you know, had a first kiss with this person. You almost did something in the past that, that didn't, you know, that didn't actually end up being followed through on. You almost had a date or you almost did what this person is trying to do right now with you. I feel like this is a second chance. I feel like all of these readings are about 
second chances or new opportunities, okay? All right, so water signs, that's what I have for you for this weekend. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you next week. All right, thanks so much. Bye.